Hello again, physics friends. This is a really quick video just to talk about a few factors, gamma factors, that are convenient for calculations. Of course, as we recall, the gamma factor is this 1 divided by square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, and it shows up all the time in relativity. We've seen it in time dilation, and we're going to see it again for length contraction. Um, and of course, this equation is valid for any velocity that an object can take um, up to but not including the speed of light uh, because objects um, with mass cannot travel at or above the speed of light. Um, but and so while you can use it for any value of velocity that, that you'd like, um, I just point out that there are a few specific velocities that give you very um, nice round numbers for gamma. Um, so we'll just do that and practice the calculation. We've seen it before, but I'm just doing this to highlight highlight this fact. So right, if the velocity is um, three-fifths of the c speed of light, um, that means that v over c is three-fifths, and v over c quantity squared is uh, nine twenty-fifths, and the one minus v over c quantity squared would be one min uh, 25 twenty-fifths minus nine twenty-fifths is sixteen twenty-fifths, and the square root of that is four-fifths. And so the gamma factor is 1 over that 4 fifths value, which is 5 fourths. So we have this convenient fact that if your velocity is 3 fifths of the speed of light, gamma is 5 fourths. And repeating that process, you can see that if the velocity is 4 fifths c, then you're going to find that gamma is 5 thirds. So these numbers are uh, just convenient to use, and because of their convenience in terms of making calculations nice and clean, we'll use them quite a bit in this course. So we'll often talk about the velocity being three-fifths or four-fifths the speed of light. Um, you may also notice that three, four, and five are showing up here quite a bit, right? Three-fifths C, five-fourths, four-fifths C, five-thirds. So it's no coincidence, but... Um, it's the fact that this 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean th triple. And in particular, 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared, right? So if we have a 3, 4, a right triangle with sides of 3 and 4, then we know the hypotenuse has a length of 5. Um, and as you can imagine, we have this um, 1 minus something squared, um, and for that to be a nice convenient number, um, it helps. Uh, it, it'll be the case that Pythagorean triples will work in that scenario. So three, four, five is um, one such Pythagorean theorem. Uh, excuse me, one such Pythagorean triple, um, and it shows up both as three fifths c gives you five fourths, and four fifths c gives you five thirds, and so on. Okay, so um, we'll wrap up there. This is just, again, a little quickie to talk about uh, the gamma factor and to introduce the values that we'll use most often in this course for the velocities. And again, these are numbers you're just going to want to keep in your mind that anytime you see a velocity of 5 thirds C, think immediately the gamma is 5 fourths. And if the velocity is 4 fifths C, think immediately that the gamma factor is 5 thirds. All right, take care, friends.